Good morning, everybody. It's Ryan Amato from Amato Painting. We're here in the Lehigh Valley, and I'm talking to you on a Sunday today. I wanted to jump on this week and go over a really hot topic in the painting industry. And what is that, you might say? And why is there even a hot topic in the painting industry? Well, it's Benjamin Vol Benjamin Moore versus Sherwin Williams. It seems like every contractor goes solely with one and doesn't like the other. And there's going to be differences there. There's going to be some contractors who use both, um, depending on pricing, depending on product. And I just want to re go down and review each company and kind of explain how, how we use their products and how that has changed over the years and whatnot. So remember, this is solely my opinion uh, based off of what our painters use and what my experience is, is using the products. So I'm sure we'll get comments on, on other products and I'm sure they're all great and they work for you. And remember, just because some products work for us doesn't mean they're going to work for your company. But let's jump into it. Let's let's get the social media ready for all the comments from everybody who works at Benjamin Moore or Sherwin-Williams and uh, see what we got. So I want to jump right into it. So our company, we've we've changed over the years. We used to, my experience, personal experience, is commercial painting. So I've had a lot of experience with Sherwin-Williams and with... Um, Conlux, which which was bought out uh, by Sherwin Williams with their commercial coatings. So uh, naturally, when I when I went into business for myself, we went right into using Sherwin Williams. I had a, a great relationship with the sales rep, and still do to this day. It's still the same sales rep from eight years ago, nine years ago. Um, always helpful. So we started using their products. I also have friends at Benjamin Moore, so we went and used some of their products too, and I'm going to go down some of the ones that we use. Pricing, Sherwin-Williams had always beat uh, Benjamin Moore for us, always. But, you know, sometimes price uh, is, is not the issue. You know, I, I preach all the time that you shouldn't choose the lowest painting contractor, and that goes for everything else when you're buying a car, when you're when you're buying um, tools, when you go buy tools from Home Depot or Lowe's, you know the 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 idea is that you're getting lesser grade tools than when you would buy at another place, and that is somewhat true. So, just because a gallon of paint is five dollars less, doesn't mean we're going to buy that get that paint because it's it's lower. And I think sometimes the salespeople from different stores. That's hard for them to understand when you're looking at the grand scale. But if a product is more expensive, but you can you can um, get more production out of it and more performance, that's the products that we go to. So I first want to jump into interior painting. So we've gone back and forth over the years. Uh, you know, we started using only Promar 200 from Sherwin Williams and I know some people will see that and grumble and say oh that's a crappy product but um, you know when I first started Promar 200 was awesome you know all the VOC rules changed and then the painting manufacturers had to reformulate um, their their paints obviously to make them pass and, and have a zero VOC or low VOC or um, whatnot um, I guess in the painting industry that's very important to have zero VOC you know, because number one, it's in people's homes, but number two, the painters are using it every day. So the painters are important too. They have to go home to their families. They have to, to live their life. You don't want to have later in life issues. And, and if, if, you, if you know my family, um, most of them are painters and my wife's family are painters. And there's been, there's been some health issues with cancers and um, things like that. And I um, mean, yeah, you have to point to some area. Uh, being around all the chemicals and the paints and, you know, I'm sure lead years ago and asbestos and things like that. So anything that we can do now to make things safer for a painter, I'm all for that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I have asthma, so um, you can certainly tell, or I can certainly tell when I use one product to the next uh, later in the day how my breathing is. So like I said, we started with Promar 200 from Sherwin Williams. Uh, I still love the product. It has changed over the years, and sometimes, you know, we're going to put two coats on anyway. So 
I don't have the fallacy or the hopes and dreams that we're going to get one coat on anybody's project. I just don't do that. So we, we just figure we're putting two coats on. So yes, that probably makes us a little more expensive at first, but you're getting two coats. The benefit of getting two coats, again, you're getting a thicker film, a mill. We measure paints in mills. The thicker the coating, the better protection it is, even for sheetrock. Um, we don't have real thin coatings that wear away and, and the sheen wears away right away from people touching it or you scrubbing it. So we want, we want the coating and the mills that th the manufacturer specifies. They put a lot of training and testing into those. And that's what we do. The finish looks so much better with two coats. So our, our entry level paints that we use for interior from Sherwin Williams are always Promar 200 unless the customer chooses something else. I like the price point. I can't, I'm not going to disclose what I pay from each of these manufacturers, but um, it, it, for the amount of paint we buy through the year, now here's where the dollars and cents do make a little bit of sense to me, no pun intended. Um, if we're getting a gallon of paint that is our go-to paint in the teens, low teens, as opposed to a higher end paint, for you know fifty dollars a gallon uh, you, you have to make sure the customer's paying for that because if not that can really eat up your profits so say you know our painting company I, I think we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in paint which is crazy you know you wish you could have that money back but uh, that's the tools that we use to do our jobs to make money for our family so my go-to paint has always been Promar 200. You know, prove me wrong. I don't know. We like it. It's it's it performs. I can use it anywhere. It comes in any color. If we want to step it up a little bit, we go to Super Paint. The only issues we've had with Super Paint is sometimes it hat bands, and for those not in the painting industry, hat banding means when you cut in brush in the top of the wall and then you come back and roll it in. Sometimes you can see a real band. That's why they call it a half band. You can see a band at the top. Um, we try to solve that by rolling as fast as we can into that wet brush, but that's not always possible. So that's our that's our upgrade if we went that way. And then if somebody wants a higher end paint, I actually prefer duration over um, emerald. That's our that's again it's my call my preference. I like duration. It's a uh, it's a product we use all the time. We get great pricing on it. We use it interior for their interior duration, and we use it exterior for the exterior duration. Now, on the other end of that, we have gone back and forth. We use Benjamin Moore for one whole season. Um, and what we found is, again, I like Ultraspec. Ultraspec's a good product, but price point, it's going to be more than Promar 200 for us. Um, I think it covered a little better, but... The, the benefits and the cost structure do not outweigh me using Promar 200. The other product I really like, and it's not available in every store, is their product, their interior product called Ben. That is a great product. Now, I wish that was available and at the price point that we could use it because that is an awesome product for walls. I don't believe it's zero VOC, so that's something to consider. Um, but they're your interior products. So we're going to use, we're going to use, I'm going to go back to Cheryl Williams. We're using Promar 200, you know, on your bedroom, or I'm going to use it in the office buildings that we paint. I'm going to use it everywhere we can, because remember, everybody has a budget. So if we can get you into a paint job for a reasonable paint, that's going to last, you know, interior is not as important as exterior. It's not going to get the same heavy use and abuse, and it doesn't need the protection as an exterior surface does. We're going with Promar 200. So the win right there goes to Sherwin-Williams to me. If you're talking higher-end paints, that's a different discussion. And I do like some Benjamin Moore products there. Now, if we're going exterior, we're talking Benjamin Moore. The product I like from Benjamin Moore exterior is their Regal. Uh, I also like their Moore Glow. I don't know if that's still available anywhere. That used to be our go-to exterior paint. Um but again, we, we, we defer over to, to Sherwin-Williams here. And I'll tell you, the, the one reason we hear from most of the contractors that prefer Sherwin-Williams is they just have stores everywhere. They have stores everywhere, 
and almost every store that you go to, they're trained the same way. Uh, they might not know everything as your independent Benjamin Moore store, and I'm going to talk about that in a second as well. But it's similar. You know, same as you go to any Home Depot, same as you go to any Lowe's, the services should be the same. The information should be the same. So when we're looking at exterior paints from Benjamin Moore, I love their Moore Glow. It's awesome. I love their Regal. But again, we're looking at price points. So we use both, certainly use both. When I'm going to, to again, to Sherwin-Williams, we're looking at A100. That's our go-to exterior paint, whether it's commercial or whether it's residential. But it does depend on what surface we're painting. If I'm doing wood or a wood-sided house that has been painted over and over and over the years and it has a lot of um, nooks and crannies and, and different levels of paint, you know what that looks like when somebody scrapes the house and then they sand it, but the other levels around it are all solid and then you paint it and you see bumps and grooves. I want to go to duration there. I love duration. It's a thicker coating. It goes on thicker. Um, you can essentially put two coats on and almost get three as far as thickness again. Remember how I said thickness is very important. Um, I love duration for that reason. And again, I want to hear from the Benjamin Moore people because I don't have a lot of experience with their exterior paints, honestly, physically hands on. Our guys use them. And I'll tell you, the one that I love from Benjamin Moore that that hands down beats everybody else. If you're going to go do a deck and my deck as well is Arbor Coat. I love Arbor Coat. It's the only stain that I've used on my deck that holds up. It's the only one that hasn't really peeled. You know, we've talked about the expectations of, of doing decks in our area in the Northeast and, um, you know, just expect doing the, the floor and the top rail every year. I don't think that's too much to ask. It's not your painter's fault that, that moisture gets in and expands and contracts and, and things pop off. So if you're going with a deck, I'm going with Arbor Coat. So Benjamin Moore gets the win on decks. Exterior paints, A100, like I said, duration on aluminum siding and vinyl siding. We love resilience. Um also love the the ultra spec from benjamin moore the exterior ultra spec so they're both in line there i think it's a preference for us that win goes to 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 sherwin williams just because that's who we use all the time um but both have great products again now let's get into i think where where the one company sets themselves apart from the other and that's dry erase coatings um, we have tried every dry erase coating known to man, even the really expensive ones that if you Google right now will pop up. Uh, we've had issues with them running down the wall. We've had issues when they don't cover. The main real issue we've had is they don't erase. And trust me, I've done them correctly. I've done them with the, I did what the box said. I've tried, I'm not going to name all the brands here I've tried, but I've tried every one. And I've tried Sherwin Williams dry erase. I just did not like it. Again, preference. But the winner in this category is certainly Benjamin Moore with their notable dry erase coating. Now, it does not compare to anybody else's. It's fairly easy to use. Everything comes in the box, all the instructions. It even comes with a wet paint sign. Um, and... It erases. That's the main thing. As long as you follow the instructions, which honestly I did not do my first time that I used it. I was so excited to use the product and I put it on the wall and I wrote on it before the cure time told me to. And then it was hard to get off. I did get it off with a solvent, but uh, great product. I've used it in commercial applications, residential. You can get it in, in a white like you would see a dry erase board. But you can also get it in a clear, and that's what we use. We would paint the wall underneath like a light blue or a light gray and then put this clear dry erase notable coating on top of it, and it would be awesome. I mean, I'm telling you, awesome. If you're looking for a dry, dry erase coating, that goes to Benjamin Moore hands down. I've worked with their, their department there, great people. They know their stuff, and they're really passionate about that coating. Commercial coatings. So this is where my experience comes in. 
I'm used to using Sherwin Williams. Um, I have not used Benjamin Moore too often, but we have used him enough to know that when I'm going to paint steel or I'm going to do uh, any kind of commercial building for, for us, I'm talking about steel, industrial work, I like to go to Sherwood Williams. I like the support that I get, um, and that's where we go there. So uh, their their commercial coatings department, you know, is going to be the Armor Seal line. They have that's that's a, that's the stuff that you can get in the store. There's also a whole nother line called General Polymers that we go to when we're doing epoxy floors or really high high end surfaces that need like extreme performance issues. So heat, moisture, it's going to take a heavy pounding, a lot of weight on things. We want to go to General Polymers, which is Sherwin-Williams, and that's not available in their stores that you would see daily. So we have to go to a different sales rep for that. But um, I like their primers, and they're all going to have crossovers from from each other. Uh, Benjamin Moore has the Coratech line which is their commercial coding division. Um, also, another they're all great with service. So it's what, what holds up better, what's available. I think that's another issue. What is available when you go to a store? Can you get it right away? Or do you need to wait two, three days to get it? Because, you know, painters sometimes don't plan ahead correctly and they need to uh, be able to go to the store because they forget things. And then go right back to the store because they forgot something else. So for us, again, commercial coatings, it's Sherwin-Williams. Um, just seem to, to, to have everything that you would possibly need. Again, so many stores around. Um, and that's really it. I mean, when we talk about epoxy lines, you're talking about a whole other ball game. And then we're getting into Rust-Oleum. We're getting into uh, Sika. So we use, we don't just use one epoxy line, and that's why I'm going to say about everything else. So I know Sherwin Williams, I'm touting Sherwin Williams on the, the couple things here, but Benjamin Moore also is, um, I mean, they have great products. There's no, no way around that. Um, when we get into epoxy floors, we're going to prescribe the, the product for that floor that we feel is going to perform the best. So it could be Sharon Williams or General Polymers. It could be uh, could be Benjamin Moore Coratech. It could be uh, Sika. It could be you know any any amount of, of different companies for epoxy floors. We we want the epoxy floors, and pricing varies greatly with epoxy floors as well as the ingredients they put in them. So. We typically use general polymers on the epoxy floors, um, and that's what we're going with there. So I, I think that there's no clear winner there on the epoxy floors. Um, we're all over. We're always trying something new, and we want to see how they perform over a longer period of time to be actually be able to give you a an educated answer there. Um, the, the one thing I do want to say is, again, they all have great products. You know, even if you go into Home Depot and you look at Bear or Valspar, um, they do have some great products. PPG has some awesome painting products. Um, it's it's the service that you get in the store versus the price that you have to pay for it, and also the support if something happens, and who you're comfortable with, and who all your painters are comfortable with and the access to the products. So you have to weigh all these different things. You remember, Benjamin Moore stores are independently owned. There's not a big, you know, Benjamin Moore doesn't put out their own stores. So when you go from store to store at Benjamin Moore, you, wanna, you want them to be all the same, but they're all ran by different families, different companies. Um, I'll be honest, we're lucky in this area that we have three really good stores with pretty good service. So Benjamin Moore stores. Um, and they're actually pretty close to each other. So it's hard to spread that, that work around. Um, and there's really no rhyme or reason to it. There's not one that, that we would feel is 
on top of the other, and we, we like every one of them. There's no issues with any of them. There's always going to be small issues here and there, but that doesn't mean you don't have to use them. Um, and then Sherwin-Williams has their, their corporate stores everywhere. There's probably one, two, geez, at least seven in our area that I could get to like, like now, um, and that means a lot too. So that's not always, you know, if you're 30 miles away and there's no Benjamin Moore store near you, you have to go to Sherwin-Williams. I think that's where they went out is that there's just so many stores and the access to it is just um, so available that, you know, painters, again, don't plan so well. So when they get out to a job and they need a gallon of paint and the only store closest is a Sherwin-Williams, that's where they're going. So I just want to end it there. And when, with, with service in the stores, that's the most important thing. We've been very lucky. They're very competitive in our area, and I think they all stepped up their service. Um, delivery is very really important. They all deliver. So it's hard to say, hey, we only use this. We only use Sherwin-Williams, or we only use Benjamin Moore. But there are companies out there that are like that, and they're very passionate about who they use, and that's their choice. You can't fault somebody for being a huge supporter of Sherwin Williams or a huge supporter of Benjamin Moore or somebody like us who likes everybody. We use everybody. Um, that's sometimes hard for the sales reps to understand, especially when you have three Benjamin Moore stores in the area and we're splitting what we buy from into three, unfortunately. So I'd love to know what everybody else is using. Tell me about some new products. I know I know uh, Sherwin Williams is coming out with one for the exterior that um, supposedly keeps the house clean. Um, I, you know, I, I I do reach out to the manufacturers, Benjamin Moore, Sherwin Williams. Please send me your new products. You know, just in the sample size, so we can do some videos on them and and get your get the word out. Uh, it will be the honest word though. So if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, uh, we'll give our opinion. So any manufacturers who have any products that want us to test them out, please send them over. You can contact us here. Um, and that is it for a Sunday. So again, Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, the, the saga continues.